Okay, so I made a video a few days ago and uh, it had a title, I think, somewhere along the lines of um, Is there any way that Jack Catterall can beat Josh Taylor? My prediction for that fight was that Taylor would win within six to ten, uh, six to eight rounds. And I honestly, bar Catterall being an absolute revelation or Taylor being well below par or possibly both, I didn't think Catterall had much of a chance. Well, guess what? I was 100% wrong and not for the first time. And you know what? Most of you, maybe not all of you, but the vast majority of you were wrong too because you thought Taylor was going to win. Be honest, OK? We were all wrong. Because Catterall was a revelation. He was superior to Taylor in every single facet of the game. He controlled the distance perfectly using his jab. He was first with the punch, first with the jab particularly. He mixed his punches up. He worked the body excellently in the first uh, eight, uh, six rounds. First five, six rounds, he was working the body brilliantly, sapping the energy out of Taylor. Taylor, who probably struggled at the weight, Looked like it on the scales. Um, he was out thinking Taylor. In the first round alone, he landed. They were both southpaws, by the way. And Catterall landed uh, an excellent um, left cross. Um, sort of portent of things to come. He was, like I say, he was first with his punches. Taylor str was struggling to get close because of the jab. And when he was at range, he was getting outboxed. He got floored in the eighth round. A double left hand, if memory serves, knocked him on his, sort of chopped him down onto his side. And it was quite a heavy knockdown. Taylor's legs didn't look particularly steady. Catterall had a point taken off in the, was it the 10th round for excessive holding? But that was countered by a point taken off Taylor at the end of the 11th round when he threw a punch after the bell. Um, both those point deductions were probably harsh, in my opinion. But there is no doubt that Jack Catterall fought out of his skin, levels above anything he's previously showed, and won that fight. Hands down. No room for argument. Do you know who else was wrong? The two judges who gave that fight to Josh Taylor. Won by the staggering, the belief-defying margin of 114 111 what's he watching what is anyone who watched that fight and gave that fight to josh taylor watching explain to me in the comments if you are someone who believes josh taylor won why you think he won he didn't win he just didn't win whatever criteria you choose to score a fight, as subjective as scoring can be, if you apply that the same criteria to every round, which you have to do in order to not be biased, then you have to give the fight to Catterall, not to Taylor. Taylor himself is another person who was wrong. Because after the fight, he was interviewed, having got out of jail with a, an entire pack of get out of jail free cards. Jesus Christ, this guy must be difficult to beat a monopoly. I'll tell you that. He said, oh, there's no need for a rematch. No, no, I don't feel as oh, I won that fight. Yeah, yeah, Cattrall did well, but he won. You know, I won the fight and uh, he was better than I thought. But yeah, I, I definitely won the fight. He won the first half. but I took over in the second half. Did you? Did you really, Josh? Yeah. Would that be the second half of the fight where you were floored heavily and had a point taken off? You are living in the land of the pixies and the fairies, Josh Taylor, if you think that you won that fight. And so is anyone else who thinks he won that fight. He didn't win that fight. OK, if you scored it, I mean, I scored it 115-110 for Catterall. Eight rounds to four, two points taken off Taylor, one for the the uh, knockdown, one for the point off, and then a point off Catterall again for an infringement. 115-110 was my scorecard. I can't bring myself to watch it back because I think I'll puke knowing that it doesn't go, go to the right guy. 
The word robbery is overused and abused. A lot of close fights are not robberies. This wasn't a close fight, okay? Even if you gave absolutely everything that's sort of 50, 50, 60, 40, 65, 35, give it to Josh Taylor. No, you'd end up with a closer card, of course. But you wouldn't end up, end up with Josh Taylor being the winner. A disgraceful decision. The British Boxing Board of Control, if they had any integrity or any teeth, any spine. And yes, I'm looking at you, Robert Smith, would step in and force the judges to explain what they were seeing when they scored two or two of them anyway for Josh Taylor. OK. There won't be any reprimands on judging. Either you, as Teddy Atlas famously once said, either you are incompetent or you are corrupt. Incompetency, without a shadow of a doubt. Corruption, well, Taylor is a top-ranked fighter. What do you think? Look, let me know your comments below. Thanks for watching my little tirade here. I could say so much more, but I'd only go around in circles. The performance of Jack Catterall is why we love boxing. When people like myself who've watched it for over 40 years get things wrong and think, fuck it, hell, what a revelation. That guy is leagues better than I ever gave him credit for. Respect to Jack Catterall. All right. And it leaves a putrid taste in the mouth when you get a decision like that. And you think, why the fuck do I bother? OK, but no doubt next week I'll be watching boxing. In fact, I'll probably watch it tomorrow because there's some on, isn't there, the Acoli fight, but... But anyway, leave your comments below. Thank you for watching this video, this, this screed litany, whatever you want to call it. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Um, and don't forget, if you think Taylor won, leave your comments below because me and you have got something to discuss. Take care.